So this week we're going to chat about how to take advantage of the fact that we're now in spring and summer. So if you look at Chinese medicine, we know that we tend to do things seasonally. So are we change how we eat seasonally and then also our general like feeling changes. So we tend to in the summer be more like exuberant, outgoing, um, sleep less, be more friendly with the people, go do lots of fun, adventurous things. Then when winter time comes, we tend to be kind of that more inward looking self. We reflect, we do less, we sleep more. We want to sit inside and read a book instead of go and do some fun, adventurous stuff. We just kind of come back inward. So that's pretty normal to see um, the difference between summer and winter. And there's lots of reasons why that is. One of those is going to be their amount of sunlight that we're getting. A lot of the times, anyone who falls into kind of like a winter slump or depression is going to find that winter is very tough because of that that we get less sunlight, less vitamin D, which affects our emotions, makes us kind of like that more kind of depressed, slumpy kind of self that doesn't want to do as much. And just having shorter days, our body naturally wants to sleep more. So we can take advantage of spring and summertime. If we tend to fall into those in the winter, now is the time that we can take advantage of the fact that the sun's out and our body naturally wants to be more outgoing and do more stuff so that when next winter comes around, we put in some habits and routines that are going to help us through that slump so it's not as bad. So things that we want to do are going to be things like making sure we get up and have some sort of morning routine. It's going to be a lot easier to build that in the summer than it is in the winter. So get up, go get some sunlight on your eyes, build a really good sleep routine. And one of the best ways to do that is get out first thing in the morning, get sun on your eyes, sun on your body. It's going to help set your circadian rhythm. It's much harder to go do that in the middle of the winter, right? Because a lot of times when we wake up, it's still dark out and it's cold. So we're not exposing as much of our body to that sun. And generally speaking, we just don't want to get up and get out. So when we can build in those routines, all we have to do once winter comes is shift to using artificial light for that and maybe finding another way to get a little bit of movement in the morning, a little morning exercise routine, something like that. And then same thing in the evening, we can use that same idea to get that evening sun that's going to tell us like the sun is setting, it's time to go to bed and then avoiding the light once the sun's actually set helps our sleep routine, which means that we're going to have less of that groggy out and lay in bed all day kind of feel. And you can also build in really solid routines around exercise, which has been known to kind of help with your mood overall. It has positive benefits on that with depression, things like that. They've even seen studies where exercise outperforms antidepressants. So there's lots of evidence that just getting that regular exercise is going to help keep you from going into that slump as well. So that's one of the biggest things. And honestly, those are some of the biggest things that we can do is one, get exercise, get good sleep. And then third would be trying to nail in our nutrition and get it locked in so that we're eating better. We're fueling our body in a way that's going to let it perform higher. Think about if you're a car putting low quality gas in your tank versus that high octane, good quality gas, it's going to run better on that. We can do the same thing with our diet. So when we have that energy to do it and we can find those routines, it's much easier to continue that on into the winter time when it's tougher for us so we know you know during the summer we start getting into like a meal prep routine an exercise routine and that sleep cycle routine so then once winter comes and it's typically when we slump we have these things in place that are going to help prevent us from doing that so go out spend more time in the sun do more activities that kind of thing while it's summer and our bodies naturally want to do more of that but then also be building in those routines for the future